Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will time out all the animation, make sure that everything lands where it's supposed to land, and then we will add some more stars. So, um, if I see the, if I select the, the rocket ship, that I know that it's coming in in about 30 frames, and that's okay. Uh, the stars come in one, two, three, and I think this is the last one here. Here, this is the last one, and it ends at frame 60. So from about 27 to 60. Uh, and then the last thing is the letters. They start to come in at 60, and then they don't go out till about 120. And then... Um, this thing just idles and so I like to arrange all the animation uh, on the timeline and time it out properly and then we're gonna add the glow we're gonna add the drop shadows uh, and then we'll be done except for the uh, particles which is the smoke trail all right let's get started guys I am going to open up my the last one that we did uh, not save this one this is the one we're working on I'm gonna go ahead and turn on render preview so we could see those uh, effects and the gradients uh, and if I hit play I'm gonna go all the way to the beginning of my animation at frame one if I hit play um, everything starts at frame one that's how we animated it everything starts at frame one boop, and then we just have one star now the rocket ship I like this is going to come in and stop at about frame 30 which is correct I'm just going to hide that for now oops the collection uh, and then we will um, get this one done let's do this one um, we know that it's animated in about 10 seconds I mean 10 frames I'm gonna go to frame 10 and start duplicating shift D to duplicate and I'll put another one here uh, and they both come in at the same time that's okay we're going to adjust the timing shift D we'll put another one here shift D we'll put another one here uh, shift D will put another one here and make it smaller now I'm on frame 10 of this particular star and so I am going to scale it um, I like to see the scale and I'm gonna open up the graph editor and look at the scale the scale one two three open them up not this one hit the home key and then that is my scale that it goes from nothing to this so if I grab all of these keyframes and I bring them down I can scale it to about that size and that's it it's just that size we just in a matter of one click we adjusted that scale the end scale all right let's uh, duplicate some of these command uh, let's go to frame one shift D to duplicate oh I'd rather go to frame 10 I am going to shift D to duplicate and shift D to duplicate uh, I'm going to turn on also my uh, my rocket just to see where these are falling and to arrange them where I need them maybe one last one um, what I'd like to do is get some tiny ones some very tiny ones shift D I'm gonna put some here I'm gonna zoom in on it uh, and I am going to delete let me hide this again I am going to delete the keyframes hit delete keyframes and now this one is no longer animated 
And so what I can do is hit S to scale, make it even smaller than that. And then Shift D, Shift D, put one here, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. I'm just duplicating a bunch of them. And there we go. We have a bunch of them. Uh, the problem is that they all come in at the same time. So let's address that. I like for this one to start and then in sequence, we're going to go all the way around and adjust these, adjust the timing. So this one stays. Uh, the next one, and I'm gonna go to frame 10. The next one is this one. And I am going to maybe move it, I don't know, about five frames. Go to this one, maybe move it another five frames, maybe not quite five frames. Go to this one, move it, oops. I'm gonna select everything, move it there. And now we can see that that one, that one, and that one come in sequence. And now um, I'm gonna move the next one to frame 14. I'll move this one to frame 18 and then move this one to frame, let's say 22. I believe that one will move to frame 25. And so, boom, 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 boom. there we go. But uh, we still have this. So I'd like for this one to come in first. So I'm gonna select all my stars. All my animated stars, grab all the keyframes and move them up to about frame 25. Let's see what that does. And they come in, boom, awesome, look at that. That's awesome. All we have to do is adjust this one to come in at, if this is my last star, I'm looking at about frame 60. Let's start it at frame 50. This animation will start it at frame 50. And we will look at that uh, modifier the build modifier, delay, and we're gonna delay it 50 frames. And maybe make it a little bit faster. Let's make it 75, see how it goes. And we, we just need to add more frames here. Let's make this 200 frame animation. Go all the way to the, the beginning. Go all the way to the beginning and hit play. Comes in, the stars come in and that starts animating. Boom, and that's it. Uh, the other, the only other thing is, uh, this one in the other animation was kind of tilted. And so let's go ahead and tilt it. I'm gonna hit uh, home key and go all the way till it's done and select it object set origin origin to geometry so we can center that origin uh, and i'm going to maybe scale it a little bit and rotate it a little bit just to, just and then move it over this one we're going to move it out of the way just to arrange all that stuff uh, lastly i want to bring this background this material, we had made it gray, dark gray, uh, because we were working on something. I'm gonna make it completely black. Go all the way to the beginning, play. This comes in, the stars come in, and then let's animate. Oh, I did see something that we need to fix. The, way, the flag stops waving at about 100 and something let's go ahead and select the flag let's go to the effects 
and I can move this all the way to the end. Oops, just this one, just this one. Move it all the way to the end, and there it should uh, animate all the way to the end. It might be a little bit slow, so let's go all the way to the end. It's going to be a little bit faster, but let's try 100. There we go. I like it a little bit better. It see that the flag seems to be waving. The rocket ship is traveling. It's uh, chugging along. One last thing that I'd like to do in this video is add some glow effects to some of the, not all of them, maybe just the big ones. Uh, and so I have this one selected. Let's add an effect here, effects visual effects and let's add a glow boom i think that's too much let's uh size it down a bit maybe 30 30 and the samples it looks a little rough the samples let's uh go to about 16 opacity bring it down a bit boom there it is I like it let's do that to this one glow let's bring down the opacity just the opacity and bring up the samples next is this one add a glow opacity bring it down samples bring it up to about 16 just so that it looks good this one add a glow opacity bring it down and i'm doing various opacity so they look a little bit uh, different all right cool we've got some glow let's add a shadow to this body body effects shadow it's a drop shadow we're going to offset it. We're going to offset it to the bottom, just like that. There we go. And then we're going to blur it. We're going to blur it. And crank up the samples. There we go. There's that nice drop shadow. Let's add the drop shadow on this animate drop shadow I am going to offset it a bit offset it below and then blur it there we go maybe adjust the offset a little bit there we go uh, maybe on the flag as well. Let's add a shadow effect. Let's uh, let's just bring it down. Boom, right there. Uh, and let's blur it. About 160. That yeah, looks good. And then uh, the samples. Now, maybe it's a little much here. All right, cool. Uh, and that's basically it, guys. We've uh, timed out everything. Let me hit play. We timed out the rocket ship, the stars, the let's animate. We added some drop shadows. We added the glow to the stars. Um, and basically we're done except for the particle smoke trail we will get that done in the next video and we will render the animation out so in the next video we'll again do the particle effects the smoke trail and then we will render out an animation hey guys I hope that you've liked this video and if you did, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. It really does help the channel, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.